Here's why what the president did over the weekend was so important. It was a statement of love for this country rooted in fact, rooted in history. He recited the history, a brief history of the four presidents who Mount Rushmore pays homage to. All right. So he went over Washington and Jefferson and Lincoln and Roosevelt. He told us, why are these men great? And then he also told everybody that we will not give up on the celebration of America's history of our heroes and of our accomplishments. Producer Mark, play clip 12. There could be no better place to celebrate America's independence than beneath this magnificent, incredible, majestic mountain and monument to the greatest Americans who have ever lived. Today, we pay tribute to the exceptional lives and extraordinary legacies of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. I am here as your president to proclaim before the country and before the world, this monument will never be desecrated. These heroes will never be defaced. Their legacy will never, ever be destroyed. Their achievements will never be forgotten. And Mount Rushmore will stand forever as an eternal tribute to our forefathers and to our freedom. The president has made it very clear that he will not bend, he will not cave on this issue of the desecration of monuments, that he believes that our shared history as Americans is important to us and that he's willing to take action to defend it. On the other hand, what you hear from the Democrat Party is a much, uh, a much more full-throated statement than we're used to from him about this, that you know, hatred of America has always been a part of the Democrat Party, if you hate America, and I really mean this, if you think that America is evil, racist, exploitative, uh, warmongering, and seeks to dominate the globe through oppression, and now if we add to this the leftist uh, version of what is considered white supremacy, fascinating to discuss that in a country of 330 million that is incredibly diverse, and uh, that people from all over the world still very much want to come and live in of all races, ethnicities, creeds, and colors. But hatred of, the, of America has always been a part of the Democrat Party. In 2020, it has really become a central theme. And I hate to be the one that has to point this out, but I'm going to. This is really just because of Trump. They don't have to hide it. They don't feel the need to uh, push this just into the corners of the Democrat Party anymore. It is now a central theme for them because how else could they explain how Donald Trump could become president of the United States? The left has become so deranged in their Trump hatred, and I don't think everything should be or is about Donald Trump. I think there's a lot of other stuff in politics, never mind in life, that one should focus on, even people who work in the media. There's a lot of other stuff going on, uh, but for the left, Trump is evidence that we still are committing unpardonable sins and to make that case they look at the unpardonable sins of the past real failings but failings that should be viewed in the context of the time failings that should be viewed as what what was standard in the world not just in america 50 years ago 100 years ago 200 years ago i mean if you're going to gauge our history, you have to at least do it in the context of what humanity was doing at the time and what was considered standard uh, standard for <clears throat> moral and decent societies then. But instead, what we have is, well, if they've elected Trump, clearly this country hasn't learned the proper lessons. If they still want to reelect Trump, there is a a grave and an unforgivable injustice that America is committing just in that choice. You see, when you look at what is wrong, what is uh, evil about America's past slavery, uh, Jim Crow, the internment of Japanese Americans, 
uh, the treatment of Native Americans at different periods in different places in the country. You, you look at these things and you'd say, well, clearly from our own morality today, we can understand and people did understand at the time as well, but certainly not large majorities of public opinion, uh, depending on where you were and what time period we're talking about. One would think that any rational person could separate out those true stains on our history that we worked so hard to get past as a country that we fought in the case of slavery, a brutal civil war in which hundreds of thousands of Americans were killed, hundreds of thousands more uh, wounded, grievously wounded. Remember, this is a time when if you got hit with a with a musket ball, you were likely to lose an arm or a leg. And yet the election of Donald Trump for the liberal mind is in keeping with those uh, with the evils of the past. They, they view this as evidence. And I, I, re- I think it's important to understand this. They view Trump's election as evidence that we have not come that far as a country, because otherwise you look at what's going on in, in society. and You say, where are liberals? Where do liberals think they're living? There are huge riots and protests going on that are about hunting of black men by cops. This is what this is the term. These are the terms, the verbiage they use. And then you say, well, hold on a second. More white people are killed by cops in America than black people every year. The most comprehensive study of people who are engaged in an interaction with police where there's a suspicion of a crime, an important distinguishing per capita feature here, uh, the white uh, white people who, you know, white Americans who have a an interaction with cops for the same kind of conduct in the same situation, according to a very large study out of Harvard that, of course, now the liberals attack constantly, are more likely to be killed than uh, black individuals who have a similar interaction with police. So but that's all doesn't the numbers don't matter. And as we know, we've moved past George Floyd. They barely even talk about George Floyd anymore. No, instead, it's this moving target of America is awful and here's why. This is what the Democrats, and just if you watch the Joe Biden speech that he released, it was like a minute and 30 seconds, it was quick, but his public statement on Independence Day weekend, the Democrat Party's official position with Joe Biden at their head now, which is really all you need to know about the Democrats. But, you know, America, disappointing humanity since 1776. That's that's where the Democrats are now. And you would think this is so absurd. We live in a country where the laws do treat people equally, meaning the laws themselves are, in fact, race neutral, with the only exceptions being that uh, white Americans and Asian Americans are disadvantaged officially as a matter of practice in college admissions and in some hiring decisions as a function of law. That's the only place where you can find discrimination and is, in fact, in favor of the uh, underrepresented minority groups in this country, right? So we do have equality in the law. We, we've achieved so much. We live in a country where, you know, and of course, we just had, uh, had a, a black president for eight years, and you have people from all over the world who show up here and do incredibly well. The average Asian American per capita household income is higher than any other group, including white Americans, uh, you have people from all over the world, including Nigerian immigrants, per, for example, have a very high household income. If you come here and you do things the right way and you work hard, you can do really, really well and live a great life. That is still true. And those of us who were, you know, having a little bit of a celebration, drinking some beer or champagne or, you know, whatever you want over the weekend. And thinking about what an amazing country this is not just for us but for the whole world to know that a place like this can even exist to celebrate america is like to is like to love a family member or a close friend that's not to say that the person is perfect but it's to say that you recognize what a gift that human being is in your life we have been given a gift of this country and for reasons of just pure ideological spite Democrats have embraced the embraced the widespread belief that America is so deeply f- flawed that, as Biden said recently, he wishes to be elected so he can transform it. 
Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.